Hi guys, it's me, Lunar. Welcome back to another Skyrim console mod video where we look at six of the latest mods out for Skyrim Special Edition on PS4 and Xbox One. I haven't been able to upload in the past few days, unfortunately, but I usually don't upload that much on weekends as new mods don't normally come out, so I can upload some of the mods we didn't cover on Saturday and Sunday instead. So don't worry, all the mods will get covered eventually. Also guys, I'm going to start scheduling these uploads a bit more so the uploads are at the same time every day so you know exactly when the video will be out. I used to do it, then I started uploading just whenever the video was finished but I'm going to change back and upload it at a regular time. Anywho guys, let's get started. We have mods to look through and we can just jump into our first one. Our first mod is called the Dragon Rend Enchantment and this mod adds a regular Dragonbone bow to the forge for one Dragonbone and with a custom enchantment that applies Dragon Rend. The bow is fully disenchantable as well. In case you've forgotten, the Dragon Rend is the shout that forces dragons to land when you hit them with it. Now instead, you can use the bow and arrow to use the shout and anytime you hit the dragon, it will land on the ground. So it's much easier to attack them. So a cool mod and I would like to see other shouts added with bows as well. Our next mod is a small one, but a very cool one, or I think so anyway. The mod adds a new katana in the game with its own animations when sheathed and when drawing as well. The way this one works is you equip the sword in your right hand, when you equip it, it makes you use the sword in your right hand and you hold the sheath in your left. But once you holster your weapon, you will carry the whole sword in your left hand. So it looks really cool. Now the sword is only one handed, but you cannot dual wield the swords or this sword and another sword, it just won't work. The blade itself is stronger than a Daedric sword, so I guess that makes up for it a bit. Overall though, I love having the sword being carried around in my left hand when I'm not using it. So it looks really awesome and I definitely recommend downloading this one if you're using a katana in the game. Our next mod is a mod called Giant Followers. As you might think, this mod adds two giant followers, followers that are like the giant race, however they are much smaller than most giants, whose names are Munsag and Flurum. They are just outside Whiterun near the stables. The author hasn't provided any stats or anything for the follower, so I can give you some of the info. The giants only level up to 32 and are good at one-handed, two-handed, heavy armor, light armor, and sneak. They also have loads of health and good stamina, but zero magicka, as they are not really going to be using it. They also have 30% magicka resistance, as well so that's kind of cool. You can trade with them but they never change armor or weapons from the default ones that they have equipped already. Overall I really like the idea of this mod but the giant's level is just way too low for me to use as I'm really high and they go down in one hit so they might be a good follower at the beginning of the game but not really past level 32. Next up we have the Aegis Armor. This mod adds in a craftable set of armor known as the Divine Aegis. The whole set has a lot more to it than just simply being an ebony retexture. It is craftable under the Daedric section at the Forge. The armor is for both male and females as well. There are two different shields, Divine Aegis and Bulwark of the Divine Aegis. The first shield is just a shield. The second shield allows for the user to absorb 50 magic damage when blocking, however it can become overcharged and stagger the wielder. Another thing with the second one is when blocking and crouching it allows the user to enter a final stand mode, engulfing any nearby enemies in holy fire. Both of these effects are only available when the empowered shield and armor are equipped. The armor itself has the same stats as Daedric and it can also be refined and enchanted as well to improve things at the forge, but you also get an enchanted version that we talked about that goes with the shield and it says sacred armor empowered with the light of the divine spirits, so that one will cast holy fire if used with the shield. So a nice armor mod, whatever version you equip. Our final PS4 mod is Reikling Island and this adds a new island somewhere beside Solitude. The island has four Reikling kings and they possess each a key which unlock four gates. Defeat the kings to access the overboss and kill him. The island comes with treasure and you also get a new Reikling follower called Ricky. He is level 47, he's good at archery, two handed and light armour, he's pretty good at block and one handed as well. The treasure is a new set of armour called King's Armour and you have to defeat the four kings and the overboss to get all five pieces. It's just a remake of the Stalrim armour but has some unique enchantments on them. So a fun little mod that comes with a new treasure. I like these kind of mods that add in a small quest to get a unique armor or item. They're definitely fun to do and I definitely recommend downloading this one. Our final Xbox mod is Yashira. Yashira is a red guard who is stranded in Whiterun after she has left Hammerfell. She calls herself a blade dancer, a warrior trained in two-handed and dual-wielding combat. One day when she visited the Temple of Kinnereth, she met a stranger who claimed to be the Dragonborn, and on that day her life changed forever. So Yashira is marryable, 
It's a bit different with her though, to do so you have to do two following things. Start the marriage quest by talking to Maramal as usual, you don't need the amulet of Amara though. Spend time with Yashira and talk to her once in a while, if she has interest in you, you won't miss it. She comes with over 300 lines of unique dialogue and it's kind of cool as she doesn't say everything from the start. The more you get to know her, the more dialogue she will say. Okay, so guys, let's talk about her stats. First off, she levels up to 150, so that's awesome going so high. She is strong at one-handed, two-handed, archery, light armor, block, and sneak. So she is a warrior type character and will attack with her custom scimitar weapon. She also has a high damage resistance as well. Finally guys, we could talk about her armor. Now when you find her, she's wearing just a red guard outfit, then you recruit her and she automatically changes to a sluty armor called blade dancer armor. It's a steel plate sluty armor kind of thing. Now I'm not a big fan of sluty armors, I like more, well, armor on my armor, and unfortunately you can't view her inventory to replace her armor, but a few cheap mods and you can access her inventory and give her whatever you want, and you can take her armor away. Don't try to equip it though, it will crash your game. So you can give her just a regular armor if you want to, or if you prefer the sluty one, you can just keep that one equipped. A couple things to note, you require the XP32 skeleton mod for this one to work, it will crash your game if you don't have it installed. Also, if you want her as a companion installer now, as you can use the inventory cheat mod to remove all of her clothes and make her nude, so this mod will presumably be removed because of that. Overall though, I like her as a companion, I love the scimitar she uses, I was using it earlier in the video, you can use that without crashes, and the only bad thing about this mod is that for some reason she's not essential, so she does die in combat. But other than that, this is definitely one of my favourite follower mods. So guys, there we have it, 6 brand new console mods for you to download and try out for yourself if you like the look of them in today's video. Quite a lot of followers in this one, but we will go over all the other types of mods in future videos. I want to thank all of you for watching, and I'll be back again soon with more Skyrim videos. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest releases, click on the subscription button on the screen if you haven't done so yet, or click on my link to my previous video to keep up to date with all my latest content, including more mods, guides, and news every single day. Turn on notifications, the little bell thing next to the subscribe button as well to get notified of my latest videos as soon as they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more information. Well, with all that being said guys, until next time, stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video.